It's here! It's time! It's here! It's time! Scorch, where are you? Come on, you don't want to make us wait. What? What's up? It's time! It's time? Really? Yes, look! Oh, you added Jesus to the manger scene? Yup, today we get to celebrate that Jesus is born. And we put him in the manger to show this. Isn't that the best day ever? Wow, I see what you mean. This has been so cool putting the people and animals in the nativity. Now we sing a special song. Ooh, what song? Silent Night? Away in the Manger? Nope, we sing Happy Birthday to Jesus. Great idea, but I'm not a very good singer. Doesn't matter, we sing because we want to worship Jesus. Let's do it. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. What a perfect day. Yep. Yep. Miss Falloon! Miss Falloon! Yes, Bill? It's just six days till Christmas. I just can't wait. I have a huge list of all the things I want this year. Look, look, look! Oh, That's a very long list. Yes, I put all of town into this. Miss mm -hmm. Falloon, I want a new bike, a lightsaber, logos, jumbo Christmas, Nintendo Switch, video games, and an iPad. Hmm. You know, Phil, you think you're missing the point of Christmas. Oh, right now, Miss Calhoun, we got the tree already. Well, that's not quite it, either. And we have the whole party plan. Even my cousin Esmeralda is flying all the way from South America. Well, that's fun and all, Bill, but... Oh, don't worry, Miss Calhoun. We have all our food planned out. Mom is moving down to make my favorite baked yams with sunflower seeds. I mean, it's great to celebrate with family, eat together, decorate, and share presents, but there's more to it than that. What am I missing? I'll go work on my list and make sure I got everything. We all have that special person that we can't wait to see at Christmas. My family lives kind of far away, and it takes almost nine hours to drive to see them. But Christmas brings us all together, and I just can't wait to see them on Christmas. Do you have someone you can't wait to see on Christmas? I can't wait to see Grandma McFlan. We can feel very loved when the person we care about wants to spend time with us on Christmas. It's a very special feeling. God wanted to be with us too. God showed us love by coming to Earth. That is our big idea of the week. God showed us love by coming to Earth. Let's look at today's Bible story, and it comes from Luke 2, 1 through 7. Mary and Joseph were living in the town of Nazareth and were engaged to be married. Then, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Mary became pregnant with God's son. After learning that Mary was pregnant, Joseph was about to end the engagement when an angel spoke to him. So he decided to keep his promise to Mary and make her his wife. Not long after, the ruler of the land, Caesar Augustus, wanted everyone to return to their hometown so he can count all of his subjects. Since Joseph was from Bethlehem, he had to make a trip to Bethlehem with Mary. And so while Mary was pregnant with Jesus, she and Joseph made that very long trip to Bethlehem. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they couldn't find a place to stay. There was no room for them at the inn. They were to rest in the stables where the animals sleep. That very night, Mary gave birth to a son and she named him Jesus. She wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in the manger. This is the box where the animals would usually eat from. Now Jesus, God's son, was born in the most humble of places, surrounded by animals and with a manger for a crib. Jesus, God himself, came to earth that night. What an amazing show of love. As you approach Christmas, think of ways you can show love to others. Maybe it's making a present for someone, 
something simple to show how much you care. Maybe you can help someone out in your family at home. Doing things for people is a great way to show love. Maybe it's something as simple as telling someone about Jesus who hasn't heard about him yet. You can be as creative as you like. We have a God of the universe, the one who made every single star in the sky and every little pebble on earth, the God who made us. And that all-powerful God, well, he wanted to be with us. Remember our big idea? God showed us love by coming to earth. He loves us so much that he wanted to come down here to us as a human, as the baby Jesus, as the person of Jesus. And this is the true miracle of Christmas. We don't have to earn God's love. We don't have to do things to try and get his love. We just have to believe in Jesus, have faith, and we are saved. What a Christmas gift. God in all his powerful form decided to come to earth as a little baby. And he went through the same things that we go through. Being little, growing up, making the right decisions. All those things were hard and he went through them all. But he was perfect and he never sinned. And even at the end, when people didn't believe him and put him on that cross, he still loved them. He even loved the people who didn't believe. He died on that cross because he was showing us his love. God did this for us. God is love. Jesus is how God showed the world just how much he loves us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Lord, that you just wanted to be here for us, that by giving us Jesus, you were able to make it happen that once we believe in him, we're saved and we can have that relationship with you our whole life. And I pray for all the people who don't know Jesus. I just pray that they get to know you, Lord. And those who do, I pray that they remember to follow you and the things that you teach us in the Bible. And I pray this in your name. Amen. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone, from all of your friends here at Three Crosses Church. Don't forget to stay tuned for the next episode of Madonna. So now, here we are, the frightening forest. This place definitely lives up to its name. It seems like everyone else has their own special talent that can help them around here. Leo is an expert on adventures. He's basically Bear Grylls. Scooter knows about all things math and science. Ask him anything. Jules is kind of our muscle. She's someone you really don't want to mess with. But me? I don't know what I'm good for besides comic relief. I've dabbled in a hundred different things. Fencing, synchronized swimming, even dog shows. But I never really found my fit. Now we're on a quest alone with only each other to depend on. But I don't know when it will be my time to shine. Ooh. Don't do that. We have to stay on alert. Besides, Betsy hates loud sounds. Who's Betsy? <laughs> you named it! Ha! Don't call Betsy an it. She's sensitive, you know. This game has officially made you weird. Okay, everyone be very quiet. We don't know what kind of wild animals could be lurking about. Sure thing. Uh, uh, <gasps> don't sneeze! Uh, uh, <gasps> Oh no. Not again. God. Oh no. Jules, are you okay? Oh, now you've done it. Me? What did I do? Look around, Ian. We're lost in the frightening forest of all places. That's literally the worst possible place to be lost. Oh. Sorry, Jules. I'll just sneeze more quietly next time. I don't sneeze for fun, Jules. Ah! Can you be serious for one minute? We need to find Leo and Scooter because it's going to be dark soon and this place is probably crawling with things that can eat you. Why am I the one who gets eaten? You're dressed like a blueberry. Fair enough. Let's get out of here. We can't. We're in a ditch with no way out. So, they have to find us. Well, on the bright side, Leo and Scooter have got to be doing a whole lot better than we are. Ah!
<laughs> We're gonna die. At least I have this trumpet. Ian, you're a genius. We can use the trumpet to send them a signal. Good idea. <gasps> Feel better? That can't be good. No, it can't. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. Who's out there? Show yourself. You want it to come closer? Do you have any better ideas? I wonder if it can smell fear. I must smell delicious. You were saying? Wait, I mean no harm. I'll be the judge of that. Who are you? Ah, yes. Where are my manners? Princess Bedelia of the Neruvian Empire, at your service. Uh-huh. What's a princess doing out here all alone? I was going to ask you the same thing. Okay, great. Jules, would you please put the sword down? Fine. Lovely. Now, I was wondering where I might be able to find Scooter the Superb. I've been tracking him for some time because I find myself in a rather peculiar situation. I wish we knew, Your Majesty. We got separated earlier, and he's probably on the other side of the forest by now. Well, how splendid. I know my way through the woods very well, and I would be happy to help in your search. Really? Wow, that is great. Can I just have one second to talk with my friend here? Thanks. Are you out of your mind? What do you mean? The princess of the Neruvian Empire? The very people we're trying to destroy? Ian, we can't trust her. It could be a trap. Hey, we don't have a lot of options right now. You said it yourself. We're lost in the frightening forest. And if it is a trap, then we'll deal with it. Fine, but we have to keep an eye on her because if I'm right and she's not who she says she is, we need to know about it. Deal. All right, your majesty, show us the way. So, I just have to know, how did the princess of the Neruvian Empire end up in the middle of nowhere? Well, I suppose it started when I was a child. I watched King Gregorian rule the empire. I thought I wanted to be him someday, but then I saw his true colors, expanding his rule, taking over towns. I didn't want that to become my legacy. I wanted to be different. I wanted to help King Archibald. When I heard that Scooter the Superb had arrived, I saw it as my big chance to do something good. So in the middle of the night, I made my escape. And I've been following you ever since. So you betrayed your own kingdom in order to help us? Indeed. King Archibald created everything that's good in the land, even this forest. But the Neruvian Empire just wants to snuff it out. We need to do what King Archibald planned for us to do. I hate to think of what will happen if we do not succeed. Well, Your Majesty, thank you for the help and the crazy story, but we've got this one under control. He's looking for you, all of you, but especially your friend Scooter. You're going to need my help. Jules, I think we should listen to her. She's a princess, Ian. Since when do rich people want to do the right thing? Since me! Jules, the day we met was the day I quit working for Mr. Warnock because I wanted to be one of the good guys. How was this any different? You trusted me that day, Jules. Now I need to do the same for her, for Scooter's sake. You're right. Welcome to the squad, princess. I'm not a princess anymore. Just Bedelia will do. Do you hear something? Ian, Jules, you're alive. How did you escape? We had help. Maybe my talent in this story is trusting people. Maybe I'm not just a jokester around here after all. I believe that Princess Bedelia is on our side, even if the others don't think so. I know she's here to stay. My gift might not be exploring, or math, or fighting, or even playing the trumpet. But I know that we need to welcome anyone who wants to join our team. That's what King Archibald would want us to do, right? Everything will be okay, right?